Hey y'all, I'm back. Back for more punishment. Can't stop, won't stop. Eric567. Alright, so to recap where we were, for me if nothing else, we... Which dungeon is this? Number five, the fifth palace. I made myself a little sketch map so that we wouldn't get lost again because I got lost trying to find the boss last time. So we got the item out of the fifth palace, which was the flute, I think? And we used it to get further. But we need to beat the boss of the fifth palace. 
And then... There was the deserted town with the old man who told us to look in the forest, and I thought I found what forest it was, but I couldn't figure out what to do in the forest. We got that. And uh, then I tried to, like, bypass that town and everything and go on and got completely wrecked by invisible enemies. That was not fun. So, I think one of these that I know for sure what to do is to go beat the boss in the Water Palace. So we're going to start out with that. And I keep saying it, but I've got to find a spot to level up because I feel like I'm underleveled at this point. I was getting so messed up last time. So, I've really seriously for serious, there might be some grinding this episode just to make it less frustrating going forward. But uh, I did draw out the Water Palace. I just went past the boss several times at the end of the last stream. So... That's doable, I hope. So thinking about what we can do in the forest to find whatever the old man said we could do. There's only so much we can do on the map. You know, I was talking about... Oop, get back on the path link. I was... I can't pull up the menu. That drives me crazy. I was talking about using a spell, but you can't pull up the menu to use spells on the map. You can use the flute on the map, right? You press B. Okay, so you can play the flute. And I think you can hammer down blocks. That's the A button. So you've got A and B when you're on the map, and I think that's all you can do. So really, there's not even that much. We need to go step on every tile again, I guess? Dink. Ah ha ha ha! Even if you're not quite on the road tile, if you're like on your way to the road tile, if you're stepping there, you still get the free pass, which is very nice. How's my health? My health is fine. Alright. So the water palace was straight out here, I think. Okay, cool. And this one... The statue is mean and does not drop any magic, so maybe this whole palace is a bad spot to level up anyway. Alright, but we need to go down, right a bunch, and then down an elevator, and then we'll figure out from there. Never be afraid to use shield. Look, the menu, I just noticed the menu background color is palletized along with whatever like the sky background of the level is, so right here it's sky blue. But when we're down in the dungeon, it's going to be black. I just noticed that. Now it's black. That's kind of cool. It's like it's got a dark mode. Alright. Candle, glove, raft, shoes that walk on water. None of the stuff is useful in a dungeon. I mean, I guess you use the gloves to break through blocks. No keys. we got two gemstones left. Fire, Reflect is very situational. Yeah. Mostly we're going to be using the same spells. Go ahead. Ooh, I was almost too slow. I was almost too slow. Gotta stun like the skull. If I'm even kind of thinking about leveling, I really have gotta start fighting most things that we come across. Alright, was this a jump or a fairy? I want to say it was a fairy. Alright. Don't fall in the lava, Eric. Eric, don't fall in the lava. Oh! Wait. I lost control again. Didn't this happen once last stream? Okay, okay, I'm back. I don't like that. 
Yeah, let's set it on fairy. That's my emergency. Start to fall in. Nope. Okay, could have been worse. This guy. Or not this guy. Oh, some magic. Oh no. Had I fully realized this last time? That you could hit him in the front of the head? You know, I was watching the video back and I was doing the down thrust pogo stick and it hit, I think it was fighting a blue knight at the time, but I hit him every now and then and I thought that I was hitting him on the back side of his sprite, on the back of his head, but I was hitting him on the front. So I think hitting the visor is how you do it. I think that's like supposed to be a weak spot on their armor. That's why it's drawn like that. Now my controller's gone wonky. It's like the button switch. I will restart the stream if I need to. Oh, I should have shielded for that. Oh, that was bad. Oh, it's kind of too soon to be using that. That's not great. Hey, Dom! Yeah, every now and then the controller's like crapping out on me a little. If I if I could just like stop the game at any point, I'd stop and like swap to the other controller just to make sure. It's like it's got a slightly bad connection. But hey, what's up? Good evening. We're back. All right, I did draw a map this time. So this is a map of this dungeon because we definitely saw the boss my first run. And then the next time I got lost trying to find him. So we need to go left, down, left, up, right. I'm already out of magic for shield. Ah! Oh. Alright. Gonna be patient. You need it to be three blocks high so that you can carve a tunnel without the blocks falling in on you. One more block. Here we go. Oof. Okay. The timing. Please drop me a magic pot. Yes, it did! I asked for it and it actually did! Alright, that'll keep us alive a little longer. Past a hammer, bro. Up and then right. Reset that screen. I hate, I hate that the bad magic grandma is going to appear right under you. So I think last time I got lost trying to go down that elevator. When the thing to do, keep going past it. Okay, there's the hammer, bro. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped. Up. That. Can't even get up to him. Oh, man. These guys are even worse.
How many hits? How many hits? Come on! Oh. Alright. Go again. Yeah, which I think really just means I need to level up my attack a little more, because I'm forever going to be taking tons of damage from dudes. Oh, 150 is not bad, though. Unfortunately, I just gotta keep fighting these guys. Okay, so we are a third of a way to a level. Even though the statue at the front of this palace does not drop magic pots like some of them do, I think we probably need to go back and heal and come back again and try to level up. Even though here we're right at the boss. But I've got to have a spot to grind some. Right now, this is the only other dungeon that I know about that I can come back to over and over again and fight enemies. And once I finish it, it collapses it on itself, so... Let's get out of here. Is it worth using a jump spell just to fight this guy? Let's do it. 50. It was not. Should have done 50. Oh. We'll take that, though. Alright. Yep. Even skulls. Not done fighting skulls yet. As long as we are going for experience, let's get this bag. Cool. We see if there there's something easy to fight down here. No, you don't count. Sorry, buddy. Uh, they're only fifty. That's not worth it either. Let's get out of here. We'll come back. All right, let's go ahead and shield. I don't know if these are different bad bitch grandmas I'm hitting, or if it's all the same one. So I kind of have no idea how many hits it takes. I still haven't taken down a single one. Oh, uh, there's one. 200! 200 is not bad. Maybe I should have been fighting these all along. Still gotta get to him fast. I think the down thrust is what makes this make sense. 
Yeah, and it goes up every time. Like, there are going to be more. I think strategically you would want to leave the dungeons for like... Ah! Because you get a free level by beating the dungeon. You would really want to leave the last six levels in the entire game for your six, like, dungeon level ups. If you're playing, like, optimally, like if you're trying to optimize your run. Have another one, yeah, come here, I'll fight you. Too slow. So I think that was two hits on the same one. Three hits. Four hits? Probably four hits to take one down. Wait, where am I? Did I? I did not get turned around again, did I? Oh, no. Falling blocks? Hopefully there are falling blocks on the next screen. Okay, okay, I know where I am. I'm good, I'm good. get iframes even if they're like on your sprite as long as you're like as soon as you jump if you go immediately into the down thrust you can be like moving your sprite up through their sprite but you still get iframes from the down thrust so you don't take damage i should not be fighting without a shield down skull there we go right on top of it getting there yeah it's hard to do it's hard you've got to be like standing in one place i see that there's one appearing right under me you've got to be like standing in one place and jump straight up and come right down on top of it otherwise your momentum carries you past it You only get one hit on those anyway, you don't like bounce up properly. Or else they just phase out too fast. Alright, 2500. Wanna fight these things? I mean, I didn't get any XP from that guy, but I got a magic pot, so that's nice. Unfortunately, the Dark Nuts stayed dead. I don't have enough for Fairy, so we gotta make this run across this bridge. Good. Oh, why did I even turn around? Maybe you can. Maybe if you were running past it, you could hop and keep going. 
Uh, let's find out. I'm on my way out. And if I die, I still have one more life to get out. It works. Yes, you can. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. You made me do it. <laughs> Doing it for the stream. Alright, I think that bridge is less hard than it looks as long as you just hold left or right. You just kind of run under all those guys. Getting close now. Ah, keep him going, keep him going. Kind of bad at timing these. I'm just, like, I never quite got it down exactly. statue. Alright, let's go back and heal. You know, it actually is a safe route out of the dungeon, because I don't think you can get attacked by random encounters while you're on the ocean, and then you're on a road all the way back. So you really can abort if you need to. I think I'm kind of hoping for a level in attack. I think that's almost always the most useful for me anyway. Just to be able to kill things faster is so helpful. It's always the worst enemies that take the most health, like the blue knights that just throw blades constantly. So anything that helps you take them out faster. This one will do it. On a little piranha head. There we go. Attack will go up. Attack six. And the next level is 3500. It's going to be magic. Which of course is useful too. It's all useful. I think that the magic just reduces the cost of the spells. And I think that they bottom out at 16, which is one bar in your magic meter. So it only helps you so much. But like, if it made life cheaper is the main thing it would do if I got another level in magic. Unfortunately, you cannot 
voluntarily stop being a fairy. You just gotta be a fairy. Oh darn, that XP bag does not respawn. Kinda hoping it would. Yeah. Alright, let's try out our brighter attack by getting stabbed. Gosh, he crowds in on you. Oh. Yeah. Makes him feel a little more doable. Of course, I still take tons of damage just because... I'm not that great at this game. I'm still not that great. I kind of muddle through. I'm not bad. Yeah, and it's hard to avoid these when they spawn right under you. But then if they don't, you can't get to them in time to hit them. There we go. Alright. I think that was the only one over here. There we go. That is pretty satisfying when you can get a setup right. Come back, let me dive at you with my sword. Ah, not that close. centered. There we go. Okay, I need to watch my life. I'm kind of burning a lot fighting randos. a lot better. Oh, a pee bag. I don't normally drop those. 200. Freaking excellent. Maybe we do level up again. Maybe I use this opportunity. Oh, you should shield Eric. That blob is coming real fast. He is eager. Oh no, that one I hit a bunch of times in a row. Okay, cool. 
almost halfway. Slow down, slow down. Part of me wants to do this kind of grinding, like, off-screen. Like, do it when we're not streaming, and just level up in between streams. Because I know it takes a long time to watch. Watch me just fight guys. But, this is the game. Like, I would be misrepresenting the game a little bit if I cut it out, you know? This is a lot of what this game is. Probably life up. Mm. Oh, I'm not bouncing, but I can keep hitting it and stun locking it. All right. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, I want this. I want I want the game to be on stream, you know. I'm here to play it. I want to play it. And part of the fun of starting these old video game series from the very beginning is, like, you have to struggle. You have to struggle through stuff. So, you know, you play Metroid games where there's no map in them, and then you finally get to the games with the map, and you're like, oh my god, this is so much better. And you play Metroid 1 where there's no saving, and then you get to Metroid 2 and you can save your game, and you're like, oh, thank god. And you really feel it and appreciate it. And it's hard to go backwards. Like, once you've played the newer games that are, like, easier to play and more fun, it's hard to go back to earlier ones that are, like rougher and don't have quality of life enhancements and those kind of things. This guy's only worth 50. Not worth it. Yeah, see, I need him to start back. There we go. There we go. I've got to get the timing better on these guys. I'm not good at them. There's one hit. Two. Three. Four. It still takes a ton! It still takes too many hits! I leveled up my attack and it still takes too many hits. Alright, if this gargoyle statue drops a magic pot, we're good. Otherwise, I guess I need to bail, but I'll probably die on my way out. I'm not seeing a magic pot. Nah, alright, let's let's see if maybe we can make our way out of here. I don't want to lose all this XP. Gotta be a break at some point, right? Even those are too dangerous, I always lose health fighting them. It's gonna be that close. I'm so sorry about the beeping. <laughs> I hate the beeping. Not to a blob! Pretty sure I've got one hit left. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, the eye came up from underneath. Oh. Alright. I think we try to level up. I think that's the thing we do with this life. <laughs> Gotta remember to jump when it's coming up like that. Right, blocks. So, I'm gonna go exit the dungeon and then re-enter it, just so that we have more enemies respawn. Link could hold his shield above his head so that when you go under those bloody tear columns, you could hold your shield up and defend from above. Let's just make sure we can level up. Let's get a level. I can take these guys in one hit now, that's nice. I cannot resist casting life every chance I get. Alright, whatever works. Take it, I'm not proud. Very. Alright, just hold right. That's right. I will exploit any jank in the combat system, I don't care. Okay, now shield. Hello? I don't have enough magic! I've already used up so much magic from Life and Fairy. Magic? Sometimes these guys drop magic. Come on. Ah! Ah! magic already. I think I might want to exit and go back to town because I'm on Link X0 and I've got 2500 XP and I don't want to waste it. I don't want to lose it. Or I could or I could farm magic from these guys. And that might take a while. Maybe that's why they're here, is for you to farm magic from them if you need to. 
That makes it feel a little bit like Metroid 1, where you have to stand next to the spawn pipes for the enemies and just kill a whole bunch of them. Ah! Yeah, it felt like that in Metroid, too. It felt like they'd stop. If you stopped to farm enough life, they'd be like, Alright, no more life for you. You've had enough. Come on, buddy. Come out a little further. Alright, that's good. Let's just uh, keep going. If I can make sure I get a level, it is worth it. Oh yeah, maybe I can shoot him with my shooty sword now. even safer. Hello, hello, hello Cyanic Atlas, welcome to the stream. Yeah, unstoppable, because there's nothing I won't do. <laughs> no tactic too cheap. Uh, we are recharging magic because I don't want to uh, lose all this XP I've got. And we're on Link X0 for lives. So I'm going to make sure we level. After that, we'll probably get a game over, or I'll just reset, and then uh, we'll come back with no XP and try to fight the boss. Uh, I have no idea how that'll go. Maybe I should go try. Like, if I level up, I should go poke my head in the boss room and see what it's like. magic do I need? Oh, 
That's good, let's go. Make sure I'm not gonna roll over the cable with my chair. Alright, here's the fight. Just gotta kill five of these. Hmm. Oh, that was good. Oh, come on, I was right on top of him. You've got to be so fast, you've got to be right there. That's too far away. That's too far away. There. Hit for a hit. Okay, four more. Oh, that's right, we got the skull over here too. Oh, I'm taking too many hits, like usual. Oh no, I went right off of it! Oh, <laughs> why did I do it? Okay, there's one. I was that close. Go slow. Only 50 for those guys, only 50. That's useful. Alright, we can do it. 500 more XP. Good. Key bag! Yes! I didn't even see it. It was so under my spread, I didn't even see it. Oh, not the blob. Get out of here, blob. Busy. Too much fire. I guess I could hold out for life if I wanted to. If I hold out for life, what would I need another 500? Now nah, let's take magic. Let's take what we can get. Let's be safe. And it refilled my magic too, which is nice, but not my life.
So, it didn't get cheaper though. Oh, Jump did. Some stuff got cheaper, but it's not like even across the board because life was 50 and fairy was 40. And my magic went up and they still cost the same. What's up with that? That level did not help me very much. All right, well, that's what I got. Uh, let's go. Let's go poke our heads into the boss room. And uh, see what's going on with him. And uh, we'll get a game over. Or I'll die right here. <laughs> I don't think it did. I think that only the magic containers, like the pots that you find out when you're exploring, I think those are the only things that add to the magic bar. I think that all it does is make different spells cheaper. But I don't know exactly how it works or what sequence it goes in. I've got to get down here to hit you. This is the bad one. Two, three, four... Five. I am getting better at the timing, very slowly. you have anything? Alright, let's life. I don't really know what this guy's gonna be like, so let's shield too. Alright, completely unknown boss. He is kind of a bruiser, huh? He's got armor on his head, so I yeah, I doubt I can down thrust. And just hit him from the front though. So, alright, the thing is gonna be how do I hit him while also dodging his spiky ball? That's the hard thing. Okay, well, we've got a chance. I'm going to save and swap controllers. This one was being unreliable. And uh, we will see if that makes any difference. All right, six, seven, seven, that's me. All right, back to the palace. I should go back through my YouTube videos of all my earlier episodes of this game and uh, pay attention to how the magic goes down. You can make a chart pretty easily, I think, what the values are at different magic levels. That wouldn't help me this game, but it'd be interesting. Hello, little dog. What's that little dog for? Probably still gonna fight stuff. See how it goes with XP. If I get close to 4,000, I'll go ahead and take it. Oh. Yeah, and magic is kind of like the least useful in general, anyway, I think. I mean, levels in magic. The magic spells are super useful. But the levels in magic just, like, don't help you that much. I think knowing about how the leveling system works in this game, there are all kinds of things you can do to, like, optimize how you're playing on a second playthrough. 
And I'm even getting tips, like I'm not even having the roughest experience, because you can imagine being a kid back in the day and having nothing, nothing to help you, no information. But I like read some tips before I played, and like Dom, you've looked up a few things for me that have kept me from getting stuck. I think my newts gave us a couple of tips one time. I think that's probably part of why some people like this game in particular so much, is because you can get a lot better at it. Ah, oh, stop stabbing, stop stabbing. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Yikes. You've almost got to be running already and then wait for it to appear in front of you to get a good hit in. in here? I don't think so. Okay, this is the block room.
All right. Thank you. So how close am I going to get to 4,000 XP before I get to the boss? I thought I was going to do a boss run, but this might be a level up run too. Not worth it. You are, thank you. So Cyanic, have you played this game before? How did you feel? Two hundred, I'm more than halfway. Oh. Are we really gonna go waste half a level die into a boss? Yeah, I mean who can blame you? <laughs> I mean, part of the purpose of me streaming some of these old games is because it gives me some kind of, like, accountability. Like, I started streaming it, I can't abandon it, you know? It gives me, like, an extra little incentive to stick with it and keep going. There we go, double skull. Gotta remember I can up thrust too, I always forget that that's even a move. spot? didn't expect that guy to respawn. Maybe he always respawns. Oh, 
Oh no, oh no, flames in the blocks, flames in the blocks. Oh, that was rough. Could have been slower. No, oh, I gotta jump right at the end, I gotta remember. Alright, back at it. Let's get a level. Let's do it. I think it's worth it. I think the next level is life, which I believe means we take less damage from hits. Would definitely be useful on a boss. Especially one where we might be just kind of like trading blows. We might be doing with this boss. Gotta jump at the end, go! Getting better, getting better slowly. Someday I'll be good. Uh, uh. All right, four more bad magic grandmas. That went good. Three more. Alright, this is the falling block room.
Ah. Hello, Trinex. Grinding levels, the block room is the best. Uh, I don't really need life, so we're all right. Oh, oh goodness, well. Five hundred to go. Still too slow. One more hit. All right. They're going to get really expensive after this, so we're going to take this life will go up, but then attack is going to be another 5,000. But I think life is maxed out. I think we're at max life. I think it only goes up to eight. We still got two lives, so let's go fight this boss. Let's go see what happened. So, no more unnecessary enemies. Flawless. One, two, four, five. That was not the worst one of those I fought. Is this it? This is it. Okay, so shield for sure. Now this guy was vulnerable in front, so I wonder if fire would do anything. Fire might be worth a shot, just to see what damage we can do. I'm going to cast fire, and then I'm going to set my spell to life, and if I hear the beeping, I will cast life. But uh, let's see if we can fireball this guy. That would be useful. Uh, does not appear so. In the face? Fireball in the face? Nope. Doesn't like that either. Gotta get in closer. Get the life already. Get some kind of rhythm to him. I'm not doing enough damage fast enough. I need some kind of rhythm to him. How do I get in a rhythm? Do I go over the back of him? Shield. Yeah. Which might just mean I need to get better at it. Reflect has been used to reflect magic back, but I don't think Reflect would reflect like his spiky ball thing. Fairy's not gonna do anything. Yeah. I think it's probably just me and hitting him. He does swing before. Then he moves in.
Is that his legs? I can do legs. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good running it out. Yeah. Don't have enough for another life. Yes! All right, stab his legs, good. One more key, let's go. One life, please. Sweet. Oh, and then magic is going to be 6,000. All right. All right, let's go do something else. Away from the dungeon. That's enough grinding. Now. Oh, open menu. I'm one life down, but that's not bad. And I'm full on health. So, uh, let's just keep going, I guess? We need to get to that last area. There's like a whole nother area. I think it's across the bridge that's down here. Like those guys. Yeah, okay, so... Loot. Run. On a road. Oh, yeah. We gotta do these screens. Me? Oop. 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 Ah. I have to yell, it helps. Gotta make funny link noises. That was the real improvement that you get with Ocarina of Time, is uh, all of Link's noises. <laughs> when he goes, hot, hot, hot. Makes him better at the game. Oh! I almost got out of there without getting hit. That was close. Okay, so... Oh, no, I didn't mean to fight you. Excuse me. Go up, because there's like a tunnel up here. Oh, that's a bad one. Worth it, Eric. Don't go back. Why are you going back? It's not worth it, Eric. Was there a way I could get around this? Could I get around this by stepping out on the ocean? I'm trying to remember. I think I maybe don't have to go through this cave, but I'm here now. Oh, this cave is a dead end. There was like a pee bag in here or something. I didn't even need to come in here. There's a different way to get out to the little forested peninsula that I remember. Ah. 
Okay, I'm on a road. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall in the water and die. Can I not step on this water? Oh, I get so tired of not being able to step on water. Okay. Nope. <laughs> oh. Fine. Fine. Okay, so I don't even need to go over there. There was that's the deserted town where the old man said to go look in the forest to the east. The forest to the east, I think, is not this forest. I think it's the one that's around the corner here. I could step on the water. Step on the water. Gotta try, because it'd be easier than going through the cave. Oh, his eyes gotta be open to damage to him, okay. Oh, fairy, 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 fairy. Fairy. There's a heart container! There's a heart piece! It's just like here! Freaking sweet! I didn't even know- <laughs> I didn't even know if seven was the max for life and magic, like, for the bar. Seven bars. What, it's just here? Yeah, it's just like a special tile on the beach. Alright. Alright, I mean... Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna take more damage from those guys. Let's... I think we're gonna have to take the path. I think we're gonna have to take the tunnel. But a whole other life bar! It's like already worth it. See, I can't step on this water either. This, I think, is the cave I need to go through? Oh boy. down here in this hole. I bet you have to hit those guys in the face too. But there's not really room to maneuver down in the hole, so... Alright, here. So, I'm gonna pause, otherwise enemies are gonna keep attacking me. So, I can't use spells here. I think I walked through every tile last time. Let's assume that I've walked through every tile. The only other things I can do are blow the flute and smash boulders with the hammer. So I guess we're gonna try to blow the flute on like every tile. That make the enemies go away. This is gonna be rough. Flute. Loot. Loot. Give me a fairy, please. And they're gone. <laughs> gotta do something. It's gotta be like the Lost Woods. Go up a tile and then left. Um, no, no, I don't have the game manual. Oh no, is there a hint? Oh. 
All right, let's do it. Let's go pull it up. I have not pulled up the game manual the whole time we have been playing this game. Give me just a minute. Great. Let me add it to OBS. Show. Hey. All right, let's. All right, close enough. Close enough. Let's go see what's going on. All right, Zelda Two: The Adventure of Link Instruction Booklet. The official Nintendo seal. Oh, this story is such a trip. I think I have heard this story before. I've heard somebody read it. It's like how the Zelda in this game isn't the Zelda from the last game. It's like a different Zelda who's like an ancestor of Zelda. Oh, there's like kind of a map, kind of like an artistic map, but it's only of the first area because like... You get down to Death Mountain, and then the King's Tomb, and then there's the Dungeon on this Island, but then from the Vito Town port, you have to take the raft across. We're already past all this. Make a new link. Assuming it's going to be something about a thing that I can do on the map. Let's look at Link's status before he leaves the castle. I have no more lives left. That's the end of me. Thank you, Link. That's very helpful. Okay, here we go. Play flute, use hammer. You can't use buttons A and B if there's no item in hand. I guess that means he's running around the map with, like, a flute in one hand and a hammer in the other. Look below for the main landscapes. Road, plain, forest, sea, river, desert, swamp, mountain, graveyard, barge. Large boulders blocking road. Strong enemy, weak enemy. White screen. Back magic life. Planes. Cave. Oh, look, the little blobbies have names. They're called Bit and Bot. That's kind of cute. An ache? It's not a keese? It's called an ache? <laughs> oh, apparently the tapeworms are called Geldarms. Maria we knew. It's not a moblin, it's a moblin. Healer. The birds are mobies. Octorok, Era. Oh, I've been done in. That's what I say when I get stabbed to death. Don't be too hasty. Raise your levels. That's what we've been doing. End off attacks by knowing your enemy. Chain hammer, axe club, fireball. Can't be fended off with a shield. Magic should only be used for it. Barrier covers life. Try another day.
Oh, there are swordsmen hidden in some towns. That would have been nice to know earlier. It took me a long time to find the swordsmen. Uh huh. Talk to townsfolk. Magic. There actually is a lot of information in here. And then the Great Palace. If the six crystals are placed in the stone statues, you finally enter the Great Palace. Okay, so there are seven palaces total. Okay, you've got to clear the six. Back to the first palace. Magic? That doesn't help me. Where's the flute? You will play the legendary mysterious music of Hyrule. The sound rouses old powers. It can break rocks and cut down trees on the landscape map. The hammer... The hammer can cut down trees? Blow whistle, use hammer. No. Oh. I grabbed the wrong controller. That was the first player controller. That's a six-player controller. You can knock down trees with the hammer? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I would prefer it to be in the game, but it's in the manual, so I can't, like, be too mad. I can't be too mad. Alright, so... <laughs> good hint! Good hint! Tell me to RTF him. Uh, let's try and chop down every tree in the forest, I guess? Since they regrow in between me going to the battle screen. Gotta be like... Facing it. Here we are. Here we are. Good hint. Perfect hint. Do you have the game manual? Good hint. Thank you, Trinex. I'm not mad. I don't get mad. It's all good. I'm fine. Everything's fine here now. How are you? Hidden town of Kasudo. Who's this guy? Sorry for chopping down all of the trees around your village. Wait, that's not a magic grandma. Oh, I missed following her because she closed the door on me. Okay, she said follow me, so let's, uh, we need to talk to this lady. We had to flee Kasuko. Uh, I'm gonna have to respawn her. I don't think she's coming back out. Oh no. Okay. And hit down trees with a hammer. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Open the door. Let's go. Check for mirror. Hello, ma'am. There is a secret at edge of town. There is a secret at edge of town. Hey! I think we've got all of them. I think we've got all of the magic containers and heart containers. That is super useful. There is a secret at edge of town. nothing really over here to the left, so let's see if maybe it's the right edge of town. The old man who remains has magic. That must be the old dude that we talked to back in the ruins of the original town. But maybe I had to get here before he'd teach it to me?
Here's the magic grandma. Let's use life first, though. Does anybody come out of these doors? Check for mirrors. Uh, that looks like a secret, doesn't it? Go to the fireplace? Hey, what's up? Spell! I got the spell spell. Uh, was that in here? Spell. Magic to cast eerie spells. Its effect is still not fully known. It is also said that it will make the enemy tremble in fear. But it looks like they're like magic letters. There's like Z-O-X-E-A-W. Thunder, the most powerful of the eight magics. It can damage all of the enemies on the screen. However, Link has to be very strong in order to use it. All right. Maybe that is what is known to the old man who remains. I wonder if spell is the thing that gets us past the invisible enemies. If it makes them cower in fear, then maybe I can cast it. Or maybe it'll help get past the jerk lizards who throw rocks over the fence. Either way, yay. So is this the edge of town? That could have been the secret at edge of town. No, not really. Oh. Okay, there's a secret at edge of town. It's gotta be here somewhere. Well, you know what? There's a magic grandma here, so we might as well use uh, everything we got. Go up? No? Okay. A uh, fire? Looks like it passes through the wall, but I can. Ha 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 There it is! Gotta use the spell spell. That is a cool looking building. That looks like a key? Is that a master key? I don't know if that's in here. Magical key! A magical key that can open several of the locked doors, I think. Oh wait, Cross! With its secret power, you'll be able to see enemies which you normally can't see. That's probably how I'll fight the invisible enemies if you're attacking me. Okay, but the magical key is like the skeleton key in the first game, and we don't have to worry about small keys anymore. I think. I think that's what that means. Alright, so let's go heal up, and then we're going to talk to the old man at the original site of Kasuto. That's it. 778 with full bars. Every little bit helps. All progress is good progress. Hopefully I don't have to come back here. Though it might be the only place in this area for me to get free heals. Uh. Uh. 
I've never slowed down to figure out how to actually fight those guys. I know that you can't hit them from above, you can't hit them from below, you can't hit them from the front, even in the eyeball. I just do not know what to do with them. Okay. I'm going to fight. Oh, I did not even want to come in here. We should at least check and see if there's anything in here special, because this is like a special tile. Or if there was, we already got it. Ah! Well, that kind of looks like something, doesn't it? Okay, crossover. for it. Okay. OG town of Kasuto. Wait, they're already attacking me. And I don't have the thing that makes them visible. Okay. We just need to find the old dude to talk to and get out of here. Okay, do you know magic? Yes, sir. Thunder. 100. Oh my god. Feel the thunder. That, uh, that better kill everything on the screen if I'm gonna spend 100 MP to cast it one time. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so where am I going now? I'm still no closer to, like, knowing. I guess, okay, so the funny rock formation I passed. I can try to smash those boulders with the hammer. That. In fact, I'm going to take a lot of damage from these guys, probably. He... It says you can't see them, but you can't even attack them. Like, if they're there but invisible, I ought to be able to do damage to them, you know? I may be about to die, but that would be fine. Oh, there, there it is. That's okay. We only had 100 XP, and I got a lot of stuff that run. Got a lot of stuff. All right, let's go see if we can at least find this dungeon. And if we can, then I'll do my usual thing where I just chaotically step through every room I can so that I can clean it up and make a map between streams. But I don't even really have a lead on where it is other than that funny rock formation. It is probably not past the spot where a bunch of invisible enemies attack you because probably the item in the dungeon is the cross that will reveal the invisible enemies. Just thinking out loud. you. So can I bypass the tunnel down here somehow? No, I know I can't go all the way around this peninsula. What other way? Camera's root. So I guess I've got to go across this bridge.
Looting and hammering. Alright, so. Will spell make these guys cower? Yes! That's very helpful. Oh, not all the way, though. Not all the way, just ones that are, like, on screen at that moment. Oh, come on, game. Oh, come on, game. I'm probably better off just using shield and dodging. as much as possible. That's the way that's really bad. I have to cross this bridge. Very. Okay. I'm going to try to use the hammer on these three blocks. Other than that, I'm not sure. Nope. Nope. Oh, that was the flute. Uh, maybe I should flute. Wait. Maybe it's like the fourth position. Aw, oh, good night, Dom. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, I'll see you next time. We'll still be here. You won't miss it. <laughs> see ya. Okay, that wasn't a special tile. Looting doesn't do anything. Ah! Where am I going? Can't cast spells on the map. Alright, there's something about this area, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what to do with those. Guess I'm gonna go back to town. I could use a heal anyway, so I'm gonna go to the hidden town. We will see if they have any more clues for me. Where to go to find this dungeon. Thank you, hello sheepdog. Yo. Uh, let me go talk to people in town first, but if I don't turn up any more clues, then yes, give me a hint. How about that? I appreciate you offering. Sweet. 
At least he doesn't know nothing and then turn into a bat like that one town. I mean, I'm working on it. Already went in there. There's something. Call for help at the Three Eye Rocks. Okay, so what is a call for help? I mean, the flute is what I've got. All I can do on the map is flute and hammer. Call for help. But that's gotta be, those have gotta be the Three Eye Rocks, the place that we were at. came back here and there was the secret yay all right i think that's our hint is call for help at the three eye rocks so maybe i'll try using my flute in different positions i don't know what else a call for help is Get back through here first. I've been playing a long time when I start getting groany and complaining. <laughs> I notice it when I'm editing the videos. I'm like, geez, Eric. Right into it. Call for help. Uh. That's like where a fourth rock would be. Middle? Oh, you just do it in the middle. That's it. I was that close. I was that close. You just have to do it in the middle of three rocks. Okay, dungeon. Wow, that color. Wow. This is the palace of Lisa Frank. Now, is this statue helpful? Oh no, I have to do it again each time. The dungeon music in this game is amazing. You listen to the music a lot in this game, so it like has to be good, but it is good. Yes! I can heal. That makes this a good dungeon to grind at. No more grinding. No, no, no. We're good on grinding. Don't grind, Eric. Alright. We're gonna chaotically step around this dungeon. My god, the color. Shield for the fight. Ah. Not particularly trying to level up right now, so let's leave. Maybe there's nothing over here? Unless I have to jump or use the spell spell. Yeah, I'm not really close to leveling up anyway, so...
Link. Link, run. I don't think I have to... There we go. Oh. You just gotta be at full speed. Right? You are too fast. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. Okay, so just nothing but P-backs to the left and right, so whatever, next level. I've got the master key, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Where'd you go, Wizrobe? I still got Reflect Cast on me. You are free XP if you come back. There we go. Oh, I just love seeing this full menu screen. We got one more slot. That's gonna be the cross. That menu is full. Okay, shield. You know these guys. Okay, these kind of look like pits that you could fall down on purpose. Yep. Ah. That's even the jump spell is still not enough to get up there. Oh no. Think. Come on. Can I lure you to the pit, please? Nope. No luring. Gonna fight you like a jerk. Mm. Let's go back. Let's make sure we can't get that statue. It really seems like I'm not doing anything. Alright, so those are possible pits that could fall down. Boy, that just keeps coming, doesn't it? That's spit magic, then probably doesn't have magic pot in it. You're not spit magic, though. Sir. Hey, I found a way to stop one of the fast ones. It just has to, like, glitch along the bottom. I kind of can stab up now. That's really useful. Make this jump? Come on, run, Link, run! Uh, there we go. Oh no! Run, jump. Fight you. Okay, well, there's a pitfall. 
There's one. Cool. Don't care about that right now. shouldn't just run for it, but I'm just gonna run for it. <laughs> like two ticks of life. Oh, this is just the other place I could have come down. Okay, but it's a dead end, so we do know that now. I guess I need to jump over the gap where the pitfall was. I need to, like, note where it was. Okay. Oh, I should have been paying closer attention. What was it, like the third statue? Maybe I should just ferry past it. Might be the safest. Sudden, I'm alive again. What am I at? Still got one life. Alright, we are gonna ferry through this room, that's what we're doing. Ah! At least it doesn't, like, knock me out of the air. Oh no, you can't! You can't, because you can't <laughs> smash through the wall if you're a fairy. Okay, so I think the gap is here. I think it's where there's like a big... Oh my lord. Oh my god. Everybody leave me alone a minute. Oh, I needed a shield on this screen. I'm getting loopy. I'm getting sloppy. Kind of missed him. Come back. <clears throat> Not there. Not there. There? That was it. I think we got over it. I think we got over it. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna cast shield on every screen. It's at the boss. This dungeon is like super small. This dungeon is so small. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hello? suspicious. I'm suspicious. If it's just one of those guys, that would be way too awesome. I think I just accidentally beat the dungeon. I wasn't even really trying. It's 
It's like a boss for a cross, but there's no there's no gemstone to place. I've still got a gemstone. So is the gemstone Does that go in the Great Palace at the end, I guess? And the purpose of coming in here was just to get the cross. But that also means I don't get a free level out of this dungeon. No free level. I think I think we've kind of explored it. I don't think it was that complicated, really. Alright, well, we might as well try and see if we can get out of here. And out of magic. And I jump the gap. Maybe with better timing. That also means that it's possible this dungeon will collapse in on itself when I leave, so maybe I should get the pea bags? fought all this stuff. Let's go. Oh no, I gotta make this jump then, I guess. Go! <laughs> this might defeat me, because I don't have the magic to cast the jump spell. You know I'm not actually very good at the jumping, so... Go! Nope. Try again. And go! Ah, I made it! <laughs> that was gonna be the end of it. You are not worth fighting. I would love to cast Reflect, but I can't do it. Alright, well, now I can. Gotta be some pattern to getting through those guys, but I don't know what it is. Should I fall in this hole and see if it leads somewhere? Thought it looked like it did. Sir, I just want your bag. Goodness. You know, I can't see what's on the other side unless I ferry. Nothing. There's nothing on the other side. Okay. Maybe we do get to place a crystal in here. There's like more to this than I thought there was. Scootaloo on through. Almost out of magic. Nope! Down into the lava. Ah, uh, game over. Okay. I've been going 2 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, let's stop there. 
I may or may not investigate the rest of that palace. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether to expect. It's almost always you fight the boss right before you place the crystal and get the level. And then the item is elsewhere. So unless they just swapped him in this dungeon, we may be done with the dungeon and we may not be. But we got the item, so maybe I try to keep going to the Great Palace? Either way, let's save there. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, Sheepdog Trinex, thank you very much for the hints. The hints are very helpful. Uh, everybody who poked in and said hi. Cyanic Atlas. Uh, everybody have a good night. Yeah, I will hopefully catch some of you guys next time. I will see you. Bye.